Hello everyone and welcome back to our online tutorials. So today we're going to be covering uh, leather rehydration which actually is a really important thing um, to take on board and to do. We've got these beautiful trainers from Saint and Sophia, absolutely stunning. Now, as you can see, they look in really, really, really good condition. Now, the reason for this is um, these are cleaned and rehydrated on a regular basis. So I thought I would take you through the process. And as always, I've got a little hint and tip for you at the end. Um, so as always, to start with, we'll go through uh, our items that we're going to be using today. So here we have um, our lovely soft bamboo toweling cloth. We have a natural sponge, which we're going to use to put the reconditioning balm on with. Um, and of course, our number 11 leather balm, which smells gorgeous. And then for my little hint and tip, I have these two little bags which we will talk about at the end and I will tell you what you can do with these. So I'll just pop those to one side for the minute. So uh, I'm going to open my leather balm. Um, I wish we had smell-o-vision so that you could smell it. It's um, lovely very sandalwoody smell to it, um, lovely and creamy, um, really nice consistency. So without further ado, let's start. So what we do is we've got our natural sponge, um, so you can pop it in your leather balm. And what this will do is this is, for want of a better word really, this is going to feed your leather, keep it supple, and actually stop it from cracking. So to start with, um, I'm just going to undo the laces so that I can get into the areas on a shoe where we all know is a high impact area and does cause the leather to crease and eventually crack and that is around this area here um, which I'm all sure you're aware of and it's happened to you in the past where you've got a favourite pair of shoes and you've worn them and worn them and eventually the leather peels and cracks because it goes through quite a bit of punishment really so as the laces come out you will see we can actually get to that high impact area. So here I have my leather balm on the sponge. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to concentrate on the inside tongue first and what you want to do is do small circles over that area because you know that is an area that suffers uh, you can put your hand in your shoe if you want to and that gives the tongue something to rest against and what we'll do is we go over the whole area don't don't be too skimpy on the leather balm because we want it to soak in a little bit um, to actually make our leather nice and supple. And that allows the leather to give then when you're wearing your shoe um, so that you don't get those horrible cracks and creases. 
So once you've given your tongue a good coating, um, and as you can see, it's, it's sitting there and gradually it will soak in to the, to the leather. We'll then come to the toe and as you can see, there's a little bit of dirt just here on the toe of the shoe. So the leather balm will help with that and it will lift it. Um, and then you get into this area here where the creases start to form. And, you know, it's no fault of the shoe. Unfortunately, it's where your toes bend when you're wearing your shoe and it causes the shoe to bend and form a crease. So we've now done the toe and as you can see, I've given it a really good go over there because um, we are going to wipe or buff, I should say, buff this off in a moment. Um, so we want to give it a chance to soak in um, and give the leather a feed, really. Um, and it is nice, it's lovely stuff to work with. And you can see that it does bring dirt off as you're doing it. Um, if your shoes are heavily um, impacted with dirt, then I would always recommend to clean them first because the, the, the rehydration Although it will take small pieces of dirt off, it's not really a cleaner. You do need to clean them first. So we're going all the way around the shoe. Um, and my God, these are beautiful shoes. So as you can see, the sole of these shoes are really clean or the platform bit there. Now, um, what you can do there is, one of my little tips, is to use um, toothpaste with bicarbonate of soda. So literally you, you put your toothpaste on your toothbrush um, and then just gently scrub the sole of your shoe. And what that will do is that will naturally bring off any dirt that's on the shoe or your sole and keep it looking nice and new and clean. Um, and I do love to see the soles of my trainers white, white. So now we've done one side. Um, you can see, I'll show you again, it has brought some surface dirt off, um, but there wasn't really enough dirt on there um, to go, you know, and give it a, a proper leather clean. So now I'm going to tip the trainer onto the other side and then follow through by doing the other side. And you can see the leather balm as it goes on. It's lovely, it's really rich and luxurious and it is really, really um feeding this leather and keeping it soft and supple. And of course, it also gives it a little bit of a barrier um, for rain. Um, it, I, wouldn't, I, I wouldn't say that it will make it completely waterproof, but it will make it showerproof, most definitely. So now we've gone around the whole of the trainer with our leather balm. So while I'm chatting to you um, about some other things, I'm just going to let that soak in, um, ready to buff this off in a minute. So we'll pop our sponge to one side. Now with these trainers, as I say, they're from Saint and Sophia and they are absolutely stunning. Um, the inside of the trainers are all leather 
as well as the outside. Now, we can take our sponge, um, and I'd advise you to go the other side, but we can give the inside of the trainers um, a little bit of a um, leather buff as well. But we don't want to go too heavy because obviously um, that's going to impact on whatever shoe, uh, whatever socks you're wearing. So it's literally just give it a wipe over around there and just to um, let that leather have a little bit of softness there and to make it last. Um, so now I can feel that that balm has actually uh, soaked in quite a bit. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to take my lovely soft bamboo cloth um, and I'm going to give that a buff up. Um, you don't need to do a lot because obviously it hasn't dulled the trainers in any way because that's not what our leather balm will do it will keep them looking really as good as new so i'm going to now wipe this through like so um and just give it a really gentle wipe over and as you can see it's brought that tongue up to look as good as new. So then we will do the same on the sides of the trainers and we're literally just very gently buffing those through like so. And then we're going to do them all the way around. And as you can see, it doesn't take a lot but that little bit of work will actually prolong the life of your trainers immensely. So now that is all done, ready now to relace again and for you to wear out. Now I have got some lovely tip here. Previously, I have placed a spoonful of bicarbonate soda in our um, fragrance bags. Now, these are full of all the beautiful natural fragrances. So with my spoonful of bicarb in my fragrance bag, I am going to pop that into my shoe, push it down slightly, now what the bicarb does, bicarb will absorb sweat out of your shoe and then our fragrance bag will leave the shoe smelling absolutely divine. So um, you will never suffer with smelly shoes either. So this is my tutorial today on rehydration for leather. I'd like to thank Saint and Sophia once more for their beautiful shoe, shoes I should say, and I hope you've enjoyed it and don't forget anything you'd like to know, anything you'd like to see, please don't hesitate to contact us and we're only too happy to help. Thank you for your time, bye bye.